Alright, it's me, your boy, Punish Variety. So, we just finished off the Scabarus room, so what I'd like to go to next is the Path of Krondus. This is the one where we gotta do, like, some kind of, like, uh, agility, bringing water to the middle to this tree to water it. And, uh, yeah, little crocodiles will, uh, spawn if we get hit, or I think they just spawn regardless. So, I'm gonna drop, uh, let's see, drop that. Pick up this water uh, container, then we're gonna haul ass to over here on the other side of the water. Take that. If we get hit, we drop water, so. If we can make. Nope, oh, nope, we drop water. If we make it all the way, you'll be able to replenish this by 100 and two cycle it. Now I wanna kill these guys. They're apparently weak to magic. I thought they were weak to range, but it seems the case that they're more weak to magic. It's probably like the only place I drink a dose of stamina now that I think of it. I don't think you really need it for the other bosses. Oh, we managed to get away without getting hit there, so we got a hundred for this cycle. Also, if you get hit, it spawns those uh oh no it never mind. I lied. Gotta kill this guy. If they get to the tree they'll start like uh reducing the moisture from it, I guess. <laughs> Well, suck you suck it something like that takes the HP out of it so now I'm gonna have to force cycle because it actually touched uh, unless I can dodge all this shit on my way out nope so force cycle see <laughs> we're like four away I'm gonna have to kill this thing here Yeah, this ain't that hard. You could probably brute force it and like accidentally like go through without getting hit. All right, we've got like a meter doll boss, and how I like to go about him is using range. Before I was using melee, but it's a bit more difficult. You have less room to work with. So I gotta bust up my range gear, huh? Uh, what do I want to drop? Boy, oh boy. Or I, actually, I don't have to drop anything. There we go. That's a range attack if it's a black boulder. Range attack. That's a magic attack. It looks like a Deku Nut and it's like light brown color. Ooh. That's magic. 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 Oh, there's this move here that I do not understand, but I mean. I kind of just brute force through this boss, to be honest, but yeah, that's range. That's like the one unavoidable damage, but I think there is a way that I just wasn't paying attention whenever I was watching a guy. It's like, you gotta hide by these jars. If you hit the jars, you can actually break and explode the poison around them and clear it out. So you can uh, dodge these waves without having to stand in poison. It's kind of like Dragon Slayer 2 here. It's not that bad. They, they move pretty slow. Gives you enough reaction time. Antidote. Whoops. Those are range attacks. It was praying mage. 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 Range. 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 Easy enough. So that's the muted owl rim. Not that long of a video, like four minutes. But uh, yeah, the main thing you gotta w watch out for is like when all those waves come across, you might want to like just start eat uh, brewing up when that happens, or you could hide near the jars. Is what I've I've seen in other videos, but I haven't seen it in action. So that's probably a way how to avoid it. I just haven't found out yet. But uh, yeah, next boss, I believe I go to the monkey.
So we'll uh, end this video here.